Hello, I'm Dr. Thomas Barnes, Newport Beach cosmetic surgeon for more than 17 years. As a physician, I'm interested in all areas of medicine just like many other doctors are. On Expert Voices, we're going to have cutting edge leading experts in all areas of medicine who are going to share their secrets with you on how you can lead a better life. I hope you enjoy this episode of Expert Voices. Orange County Registered Digital. Diabetes is the seventh leading cause of death in the United States. Most of the 24 million people in the United States diagnosed with diabetes suffer from type 2. To combat this form of diabetes, a patient's physician might prescribe medication, diet, and exercise to combat the disease and all the complications that can occur. Despite these best efforts, people are experiencing frustration with their diabetes and their health and all the other related problems. But there are alternatives and new treatments which are changing lives. Joining me today is Dr. Candace McGowan, the Chief of Staff at Next Advanced Medicine here in Irvine. Dr. Candace McCowan, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And we, yeah, well, I'm going to I'm going to interrupt you one second and tell okay. everybody we have something really exciting that touches so many people's lives. We're going to talk about diabetes today, and not the normal way it's treated, but Next Advanced Medicine, the business in which she works and runs with her doctors, and she's a doctor. They're making banner results for people. There is hope. Isn't that true? Very much so. We work with functional medicine. Functional medicine is also called, called individualized medicine. We do very extensive testing to find out why the patient became a diabetic. Why can't they regulate their own blood sugar? And then we go about customizing treatment pro program based on those tests. It's fascinating what you put together at Next Advanced Medicine and it's a team approach with certified physicians. Correct. Tell me about it. We have a team of medical doctors, physicians assistants, chiropractors, nutritionists. We have a big team, but a good team. I hope this is okay. We were talking a little earlier and I want to bring up a personal story. Okay. You understand what it is to be told that you may have something going on. Yeah. If you can just share how you felt when you were told you needed a bunch of tests and there may be something very serious going on. How did you feel? Well, I was scared. I was terrified. I. Um, I was diagnosed with some health problems early on uh, when I first became a doctor and when you're the doctor and it's very personal to you, you start wondering how you could have gotten this unhealthy at such a young age. But I'm thankful for that problem because it, it led me to what I do today. Um, there's nothing wrong with me now. Makes you a better doctor to understand people? So much so. And when I have somebody across from me and they're scared, they're, with diabetics they're scared. They're scared they're going to lose an arm or lose their vision or lose their ability to be independent and they might become a burden to someone and they don't have a way out. They're always feeling hopeless. They'll go, they're diagnosed usually on some random visit. They're there for something else, maybe a physical or something. They're told they're diabetic, they're given their first medication typically yeah. within the first five, ten minutes. Then they get farmed out to the nurse when they come back for weight, uh, blood pressure and so forth. Maybe not getting the personal care anymore? Well what I see is that they'll sit down with their blood work every six months and every six months they're the typically way you do put it. on no 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 no. The way other in the do. typical Western medicine practice, it's simply where are your blood sugars, where's your A1C, which is your three out three month average of your blood sugar. And it's simply how much medication you need to try and keep your sugars down. Yeah. And so if you're diabetic and you go to your doctor, he's going to say, your sugars aren't so good. We're going to make some changes. He's yeah. going to add another, he's going to maximize the medication you're on. Yeah. Then you're going to add another medication, right. add another medication. Then and keep gaining weight. You keep gaining and weight. the more you gain weight, the more into, uh, uh, glucose intolerance yes, you get. Yes, the more insulin resistant the you become. The hungrier you get, Yep. the more weight you gain. The, and the less energy you have. Dr. McCowan, give us a, a real success story. I have lots of them. Uh, just this week, as a matter of fact, we had a patient who's been trying to get off insulin for 15 years. 45 units of insulin a day. By his third week, he was off all insulin. That is amazing because insulin, we think, can have negative effects too on your health in the long run, right? There was a study came out recently saying, saying that um, the life expectancy once you start insulin is about 10 years. Wow. And I will tell you, I've known diabetics that have been on insulin much longer. It really depends on how much you're on, but we know it's hard on the kidneys. We know it's the most inflammatory hormone in the body. Now, we all know that diabetes is a process where there's a high blood sugar, there's a resistance to how the sugar is metabolized in the body. 
Can you tell us a lot more about it? Patients are taught that it's a problem with their pancreas. Type 2 diabetes, type 1 diabetes is a problem with the pancreas. Type 2 diabetes is generally not the case. Generally, their cells are so resistant to letting their sugar and insulin in that it just backs up in the blood. And when it can't get out of the blood, it's then converted to cholesterol and fat, and it clogs your arteries. So if you look at diabetes, the truth of the matter is, it's not so much a blood sugar disease as it is a blood vessel disease. It is either breaking down the blood vessels and capillaries because glucose in the blood secretes an enzyme that breaks down those capillaries. So if those capillaries are collapsing, the kidneys don't work, you can lose your vision, you get amputations, you get neuropathy, right? Or if it's clogging them because of all the cholesterol, then you're getting heart disease, stroke. So it's really a blood vessel disease. Well, let's make this real for the folks watching us right now. What percentage of our population would you say are either gonna be type one juvenile diabetics, which means you don't produce enough insulin, and this very often is young kids, but it can be adults, and the vast majority today are the type two, more related to weight gain or being heavy very often. But what percentage would you say in the population do we see diabetics today? The World Health Organization came out with a statement stating that if you have a child born after the year 2000, the chances of them getting diabetes if they're African American or Hispanic is one in two and Caucasian is one in three. My gosh. And now you're also telling me that's gonna be the majority of people in the future they need a way to have their process controlled or reversed, and that's what you're doing. It's an epidemic and it's, it's scary. It's scary what's happening. If you think of just Medicare, if 50% of our population is diabetic, what's going to happen? That's a big question, but we know you're there for people and you can help, as you've explained today. Now, uh, thyroid disease is a whole other issue, and that's like number two, the one-two punch in our culture today. We're not going to have time today, but we want to bring you back for another Expert Voices segment with thyroid. Will you be able to do that? Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for joining us again. One more handshake. It was yes. a great interview. Thank you. Millions of sufferers from diabetes get exhausted simply managing the process. Fortunately, you may be a candidate for a new natural set of treatments that can help you reverse type 2 diabetes without expensive drugs, injections, or side effects. The solution to your suffering is only a phone call away. If you would like to see if you qualify for a type 2 diabetic evaluation, please call 949-786-5050 or visit the website at www.nextadvancedmedicine.com. The first 20 viewers to call, if they qualify, will receive two free consultations, a total value of $490.